I don't. They don't live. I don't know that much about giant eagle owls in the in the sort of extreme detail, but they don't live in pairs as far as I know. Only in breeding pairs. So maybe it's looking for a mate somewhere in the area. But again, then they do that louder call. How do you go with Fine, Jan. Sorry, Peter. I just um, got an email from uh, Emma, and uh, she let me know that um, apparently she's got a lot of uh, experience with owls, and she says this is a hungry cry. Um, yeah, it's, it's a form of hyena cry, but this is a hungry cry. All right, thanks, Jan, and thank you, Emma. Emma's got a lot of experience with owls. I presume you maybe work with owls or maybe studied them. And that's one of the other great things, is having so many people with us on the drive here. There's all kinds of expertise out there. So please, if you have specific information, I'd love to always learn about it. And Emma's saying this is a hungry cry. Again, it's typically the sound that you would hear a young bird make to an adult when it's begging for food. So what Emma's saying there makes sense. This bird is obviously hungry and uh, maybe deciding to make some calls and hoping that some food falls out of the sky of course just joking it's probably just looking around now it's not impossible that it sees something and swoops down it seems these other birds have left it alone a bit now as well the babblers have moved on and even the drongo hasn't been around for a bit so maybe there's a small chance now this owl can spot something like a franklin maybe or Something that's coming out for the night. Get some food. See, Alex, that also ties in what Emma just said. If they were, were looking for a mate, they'd probably use that louder, that sort of wah, 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 that call. Because they can do that quite loud. We can hear this. You'll, we heard this a while back around camp. Uh, we'll, we'll hear it again. Hopefully it'll be around there. Well, oh, fantastic. I could sit here the whole time, but uh, let's move along. I'm sure we're going to see this bird again might even become a character around here. I'm going to start the car, don't get a fright, okay? <laughs> it's checking us out. Oh, you're amazing. Cheers. Look at that. Still looking at us. Unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. Wow. One last look, Alex. I'm just from a different angle again. I can't. Can't. Is that as far as you go? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Of course, also can turn its head about 270 degrees or so, three quarters of a circle around. So essentially it can turn its head to the right side, but turn it to the point where it can look over its left shoulder, if you know what I mean. Turn the next very far around. Look at the white markings on the shoulder. Well, a fantastic view. I think even if you're not into birding, you would find this fascinating. Of course, those of you that enjoy birding, Emma, you that into owls, I'm sure enjoyed this a lot. This really is a unique sighting. Hopefully this owl sticks around and we see more of it in future like this again. But uh, I'll remember this for a long time. Alex just has to <laughs> find his seat again.